So if you're trying to figure out how to uninstall Black Hole from your Mac computer, it's simple, but I'm gonna go through about four to three or four steps to help you do that. It should take us within two minutes. There's a link below in the video description. Go to that link, it'll take you here to the Black Hole support page. Scroll down just a little bit and you'll see these uninstall options. Now, if you follow my video to, uh, to install Black Hole, we're going to use the first option at the top. If you're unsure which option you have, most likely it's the one at the top because when we do the install, that's the first one we see. So just go ahead and select the option, whichever option you have installed that you're sure you have installed or you can guess, there's nothing wrong with guessing. But if we get to the final step and it doesn't work, then you know you have to try another one. But once you select the downloaded file, it'll bring you to the installation page. So from here, you just keep selecting that, spending your password if you need to, like I'm doing now, and just go ahead and complete the installation. As soon as you do that, if you notice behind this window, black hole just went away. So that's it. That's all we have to do to uninstall it. And then when you close it out, it asks you if you want to go ahead and delete the file that we used to uninstall Black Hole. So it'll go directly to the trash, directly to the trash from there. And then you can remove it from the trash and we're done. So that's all you have to do to uninstall it. And if you ever want to reinstall Black Hole, you can do so. You'll notice if you go back to the options, the Black Hole option is grayed out. So it's no longer there, it's just grayed out. I'm guessing if you restart your computer, it'll go completely away. But that's it. That's all I got for you. Much love to each and every one of you. I'm your downloading pirate. And I'm out. I'm out.